on This Week in Plymouth. Downtown construction updates, Plymouth PD needs your help in PSU's Sunday Fun Day event. All that and more coming up on This Week in Plymouth. Hello and welcome to This Week in Plymouth. I'm your host, Jonathan Picard. Starting off this week, the Plymouth Elementary School Board met this past Monday. You can catch the whole meeting right here on channel 1301 or on demand on our YouTube channel. The following night, the Pemby Baker Regional School Board met at the high school. Select Board Chair Zach Terrell was present at the meeting representing himself, where he became a little heated about a policy about public comment that the board had approved during that meeting. The public comment policy that you all Available so it will be posted after today. Um, there is a few bullets in there, but in the minutes, as far as it is in the minutes. Follow up. I uh, just looked at the minutes and the full details of that policy are not posted in the minutes. It just says that the policy was discussed. I think that's what um, Ms. Welch just explained. It. I understand what you're saying. As I understand it, this committee this evening approved a policy. It hasn't been posted online. The it wasn't posted, sir. It no, no, it no, no, it, 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 it wouldn't have been posted. That policy is not posted. It wouldn't have been posted online because it wasn't. So they're not in the public meeting minutes. No. The agenda item that you have here indicates a first reading. So that implies that that policy would have been read <coughs> into the public record this evening. By committee. Came from committee. Okay. Came, came, it's I not understand it came from committee. but. This body approved a public comment policy that the public has had no opportunity to review or comment on? Yeah, that's not accurate. We, we discussed it at the, at the committee meeting two weeks ago. She discussed it? And it was a public meeting. Any person from the public was certainly welcome to come to the meeting. And you approved a policy that was a first reading that was not read in the public, that's not in the meeting, that's not available anywhere for the public to have reviewed, that's just not accurate. I feel, I feel we, like we, we, were, we, we talked to the committee two weeks ago. A gross violation of the New Hampshire right, right to know laws. Okay. And I will be talking to the town administrator because this it doesn't seem like anybody in this group is doing anything but being defensive about this as opposed to actually speaking to the contents of a policy that you approved about public comment. You didn't allow the public to review a public comment policy. Well, it's well, atrocious. Yes. It's, a, it's an atrocious <laughs> treatment of the public. The board also took a moment to express their gratitude and appreciation to SAU 48 Superintendent Kyla Welch, who was recognized this last Saturday by Plymouth State University and received the 2022 PSU Outstanding Graduate Alumni Award. Later on in the week, the Plymouth Planning Board met with the HOP subcommittee and Barrett Planning Group to discuss possible zoning amendments that were recommended by Barrett Planning. Moving on to this week's announcements, the new downtown construction update for October 9th is now available on the town website. Be sure, be sure to head over to the new website at www.plymouth-nh.org to get the full details. Town manager Scott Whedon has a new report available to read on the town website as well. In the report, he details the town's goals, some information about the town audit that just concluded, and an update to the budget process. You can read the full report on the town website. A reminder that town offices will be closed this upcoming Monday for Indigenous Peoples Day. The Plymouth Police Department made a post on Facebook this past week asking for help from the public in identifying an individual who stole a bike. If you have any information about this suspect, please send it over to Officer Bonin at jbonin at plymouthpd-nh.org or call 603-536-1804. This past Sunday, October 1st, marks the passing of former Holderness and Plymouth firefighter Gary Mack. In a Facebook post made by Plymouth Fire Department announcing his passing, they said, Gary served with distinction in both departments, beginning in Holderness in 1970 and attaining the rank of Deputy Chief. He joined the Plymouth Fire Department in 1975 and, one, and was one of the original medical providers for the Plymouth Ambulance Service. He attained the rank of Lieutenant. He retired from Plymouth in 2004 and remained active on the call department and as an associate member until his death. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family during this tough time. The Recreation Department took a trip this past Tuesday, October 3rd, to see the fall foliage. 
The small group went over to Woodstock, Vermont and traveled along Vermont Route 100 to Western Vermont to take in all the color and atmosphere of this fall season. Peace Public Library will be hosting the Plymouth Historical Society as they present The Capital Crime of Witchcraft, What the Primary Sources Tell Us by Margot Burns. This presentation is free to the public and will be held at 5.30 p.m. on Wednesday, October 18th. Pease Library will also be having a delayed opening on Thursday, October 19th. Also on the 19th, Peace Public Library, in collaboration with the Lamson Library and the PRHS Learning Commons, will be hosting the Plymouth Hauntings event on PSU campus. The tour is set to begin at 5.30 at the Silver Center for the Arts, with an ending at the Lamson Library with refreshments. The traditional student-run pirate party is set to happen this weekend on Sunday, October 8th. And with the town set on preventing the party from causing any trouble for its residents, Plymouth State University is to host its own party on campus to try and draw students away from the illegal party on Winter Street. There will be free food and music for students who choose to attend this event. This event, titled Sunday Fun Day, is set to start at 11 a.m. and run until 2 p.m. The Plymouth Bobcats took on Guilford Belmont yesterday in a home game. The full game is available to watch during select times throughout the week on channel 13 or 2 or on demand on our YouTube channel. Taking a look into next week, there are only two town meetings scheduled, with the select board meeting on Tuesday the 10th at 5 p.m. and the Energy Commission meeting at 6 p.m. on Thursday the 12th. That will wrap up this week's episode of This Week in Plymouth. Remember, you can watch full replays of town meetings and other PRHS sports and events on our YouTube channel. Once again, I am John from Picard. Be sure to visit the town website and social media pages to stay up to date with everything happening in the town. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on This Week in Plymouth.